an evidence-based yet false reality. Instagram was developed in 2010 as a way for an individual to publish a photo or video, caption it, edit it, hashtag it, and then upload it, allowing the rest of the world to view it. Currently, over 20 billion photos have been shared via Instagram. But why do we feel the need to upload everything we do? It's although we have to give evidence of to prove to the rest of the world that yes, we did go on a bushwalk. Yes, we ate this. Yes, we have a social life. Yes, we study. We must just be such studious individuals. But do these accounts really live such healthy, extravagant lives? We don't see the binge meals that fitness models eat. We don't see the days that they just can't be bothered to work out. All we see is their fit, healthy, extravagant lives that they want us to see. Do we believe it's all a true reflection of the publisher? According to Virginia Heffernan, if you used Instagram right, it will stealthily convince you that other humans, nature, food and three-dimensional objects are worth observing for the sheer joy of it. With this, Mike Copra Grant refers to the intensified images as a hyper-reality, a distortion of reality. And who better to give an example of than myself? My entire account is somewhat fake, a false reality of myself where I only post the positive things in my life. Even then, it's a manipulation of the truth. I don't know why I, along with many other individuals, feel the need to prove that we, well, essentially live. Susan Sontag's reading on photography examines this idea of an evidence-based reality. Sontag quotes, Photographs furnish evidence. It's as though we need to prove to the world that we made an experience. Miko Villi quotes, The photograph is a reenactment of that situation. However, it may be a reenactment, but is it a true reenactment? My photos don't show the stupid amount of hours I work in a week on top of full time study. The nights I stay up till 3 am trying to finish assessments. The nights I cry because I'm just stressed out. The times I may not eat so much, I'll look good in an event, the editing, but I feel as though that we need to give evidence whether this be true or not, that we're awake, living humans who take part in experiences. Jerry Thompson examines how the term truth in photography is not referring to an accurate representation of the image, but rather an accurate representation of the artist's response to an image. Truth now means reliability according to the subjective experience of the artist. We travel and take a camera. As Sontag quotes, it seems positively unnatural to travel for pleasure without taking a camera along, as well as it offers evidence that that trip was made. Michelle Zapovichna communicates how individuals caption an image and accompany this with a feature of one's own self in the image, which confirms the experience as their own. She expresses that there's a usually shady commerce between art and truth. So the images and videos may not be a lie but we still crop, filter and choose the images we want associated with ourselves. With this, we create a hyper-reality of how we want to be perceived, but it's certainly not a true reflection of who we actually are.